it was really close to the surface it's here it looks like a penny you want to see i think it's a penny well good morning everyone really looking forward to today's hunt we're heading off to a secret location it's located about oh, 45 minutes from where i live and uh it's a military installation. We actually found out about this installation from um, some ex-army, old ex-army people. And we checked it out on some old maps and sure enough, there it was. So we're going to go ahead and have a look. I'm really looking forward to putting the Vanquish 540 into relic mode and seeing what sort of relics we can turn up. Um, because of COVID conditions at the moment, I don't have my mate with me in my car. Uh, James is going to be meeting me at the location. One of the things I am worried about today though is as the weather's getting warmer we're uh, going to be facing the fact that uh, uh, the snakes are going to be out and about or they're going to start getting out and about so I've got the long trousers on today and some uh, good solid boots. I packed a snake bite kit um, just in case, Ugh. I'm not a fan of snakes, you know, if I see them there, I'm not going to go after them, I'm just that sort of guy, if I see a snake, yeah, I'll take a few step back and, uh, and let him do his own thing and, uh, and I'll go the opposite direction. Anyway, fingers crossed and, uh, we'll see you at the first target. Okay, well, we've got our first target. I don't know whether it's trash or treasure, but we're going to go ahead and give it a go. Now there's a target in here. Oh, here we go. This is nice. This is a this is a buckle of some sort. Now I don't know what that is off, but it is a buckle. And uh, I was coming up around about 20 on the Vanquish. So I got a buckle. Yeah. Oh, a nail. Well done, James. Okay. Well. Okay, it was really close to the surface, it's here, it looks like a penny. Oh, look at that. It was ringing out some really high numbers too. You want to see? I think it's a penny. It looks like a roof penny. There it is. King on the back. Okay. It's kind of dinged on the edges a lot, but that's not from me. Oh, so it was only, it was dead close to the surface.
The way that's crimped at the top there leads me to believe that this may be in a blank. It looks like a, a 303 shell. There's nothing I can get off the end there at the moment. If this is a brass cartridge, which it is, no wonder it rang up so high and so loud. Now, the question is, would this have been for a rifle or for something else? But nice, a cartridge. cartridge. I think it's 303, but you know, further investigation will let us know what it is. Good, we'll keep it. What a great day. I just can't believe that we're out there in the middle of the bush, scrabbling around, and finding some of those targets that we found. Like I found that uh, buckle. I kind of think that maybe the buckle could be off a um, uh, some military webbing. So I found that buckle. There was the um, Australia Penny, uh, the 1943. So that kind of like dates. That's in the correct date range of what we kind of expected. Um, off camera we found this really interesting valve 
Um, I'm going to show you a picture of it now. And that was absolutely amazing. That was just like out, you know, probably about 75, maybe 100 metres out you know, into the middle of the bush. Um, and James actually went ahead and he found that. Um, he found that while I was, um, I found a, an area <coughs> that was just absolutely loaded with those cartridges. Um, as you remember, those cartridges were crimped on the end, so I'm going to find out a little bit more information about those. Um, I'm not a big military um, historian, however, it was just great going to that site. It was absolutely beautiful. You know, spring's coming, well, we're in spring now, and uh, I had my eyes peeled the whole time looking for snakes. Um, but we had our snake bite kit with us, so not too much to worry about. You know, it was probably about a 40 minute hike back to, back to the car. And it was a great, great day with some good finds. And if you can help us out, like, comment and subscribe in the area down below. That would really help us out with the channel and would be very much appreciated. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.